Hello, welcome. I'm Dr. Gonzalez and today we're going to talk about anatomical directions. So in anatomical position, the standard anatomical position is the body must be erect, the feet must be slightly separate or apart, the palms are going to be both facing forward with the thumbs pointing away from the body. Also, the arms are going to be slightly separated from the trunk. And this person can either be uh, in a standard anatomical position, uh, supine, or uh, laying on its back, right? Or, or standing in the floor as long as it is like this. In terms of the orientation regarding the anatomical directions and terms, I call this the GPS of the body because if you know the GPS will tell you if you're going west, south, north, etc. Well, in the case of humans, this is going to be referred to these different terms. So, for example, we have a superior or cranial, which means that we are moving towards the head or the upper part of the structure of a body or it also refers to as above so that is superior on the contrary we're gonna have inferior and inferior or caudal it's away from the head or towards the lower parts of the structure or the body so it's below. Then we have anterior versus ventral. Anterior versus ventral, we're going to look into what's anterior or in the front of the body, right? so towards the front of the body or in front of the body. The contrary to anterior or ventral is going to be posterior or dorsal, meaning it's towards or at the back of the body or behind. Next, we're going to have medial or lateral. For medial, medial means it's towards the midline of the body or in the inner side of a particular item. Meanwhile, lateral is going to be the contrary. Lateral is going to be away from the midline of the body or outside of the body. And then we can also have a third type of orientation, which we call intermediate. It's very similar, but this is going to be in between um, more medial uh, structure. Then we have proximal and distal. These two are typically correlated because one is going to be the contrary to the other. So, for example, starting with proximal. Proximal means that it's closer to... It's going to be closer to the origin of the body part or the point of attachment of limb to the body trunk or trunk. Meanwhile, this stone is the contrary. This stone is going to be farther from the origin of a body or, uh, or body part or the point of attachment of a limb to the body or trunk. Last but not least, we have superficial, also known as external, and deep, also known as internal. So superficial, it's going to be, for example, towards the surface of the body, right? for example, the skin. 
And deep is going to be the contrary, away from the body surface or more internal. In the next part, let's talk about some examples. Discussion break. What is the difference between superior and inferior? What is the difference between anterior versus posterior? And the bones are blank to the skin. Some examples of superior versus inferior are gonna be, if we use superior, superior can be the head. It's superior to the abdomen versus the navel is inferior to the chin. Another example is gonna be the foot it's inferior to the chest. Regarding anterior versus posterior, for anterior we can say the breastbone is anterior to the spine and vice versa the heart, uh, for example for posterior the heart is posterior to the breastbone. Let's go over some examples about medial, lateral, and intermediate. For medial, remember again, this is towards the midline of the body. So for example, the heart is medial to the arm. In terms of lateral, remember lateral, it's something that it's away from the midline. So the arms are lateral to the chest. In terms of intermediate, the collarbone is intermediate between the breastbone and the shoulder. In terms of proximal and distal, if we talk about proximal, we could say the elbow is proximal to the wrist. Meanwhile, in terms of distal, we can say the knee is distal to the thigh. And last but not least, we have superficial and deep. Remember, superficial is towards the body surface and deep is the contrary, like, like when you're swimming, right? When you swim, if you go deep, right? Versus when you go to the surface, when you're swimming. So in this case, the skin is gonna be superficial to the skeletal muscles or to the bones, right? Because remember, you gotta imagine this as layers. So if this is the skin, this is the muscle, and this is the bone. The skin is always gonna be superficial, but the bones are always gonna be deeper. And that's it. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching.